one, two, two three. three. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. We did it. Okay. All right. There we go. Hey. Oh, hey. Yeah. With heartfelt thanks to Iris for giving their hearts and hands to redesign this apartment dedicated this day, May 8, 2009. Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 Do we get to go in? Please. Redesigners create a new look for a room using what exists in the home. And Getting involved in this has been a wonderful reward for our group. We originally adopted three apartments. Our first one we did about six weeks ago. This is our second one. We're taking another one on in May. The staff and the director are thrilled with the jobs that we're doing when we hand the units back to them. You can only imagine how someone coming in off the street feels when they get to move into a warm, bright home. Donations from Sherwin-Williams including paints and the services of painters, provided needed warmth and life. Today we have three stores, uh, four sales territories, a district management team all here working together to do a little something inside the, the Falls Church community here, uh, working with the designers and providing product and a little labor on our part. So a few hours of labor on our part to hopefully make a little brighter future for somebody else. Lucky for us, you know, the Iris members were here in advance, prepped out, uh, did a lot of the prep work for us, so we were able to come in basically like a surgeon and put paint on the walls. From a company morale standpoint, you can't get a better win-win on, on something like this where people are actually taking time out of their day to do something that is just inspiring and then giving back to the community and then of course the, you get um, the great press from the people that get to take advantage of the, the newly painted walls and, and the projects that we put forth. The generous loan of two storage containers from 1-800-PACK-RATS made possible the gathering and storage of furnishings and materials. So we have two storage facilities. One is for items that we are going to use and refurbish, and the other one is for items that don't quite work in the units, but people in the neighborhood who move in who need furnishings have been coming and asking if they can take some of those furnishings. So we're kind of helping out the community in two ways. Hours of planning and preparation led up to each makeover. When space is a problem, as it was with these rooms, multi-purposing is the key. Dining, kitchen, and living areas make up the great room. Partnering with the IRIS National Capital Area Chapter gives businesses the opportunity to give back to the community. A home, even a temporary home, is a refuge at the end of the day. IRIS redesigners turned three transitional shelter apartments into homes. He's coming in. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, this is unbelievable. Wow, this is such a big difference. This is truly remarkable, just the renovation and what you've all done with the, the walls, the couches, the, the lighting, the paint. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. The difference it makes for a family walking in the door, looking at an apartment like this gives them just so much more self-worth. It's truly a dream come true for, for our families, well, for Shelter House to have you all come in and do something like this for our families. When we uh, first came up with the concept for Adopt an Apartment, we never in a million years thought it would be anything like this. It's gone beyond our wildest dreams, and we can't thank you guys enough. Where Everybody did, did such list. a good job. Every worker, wow. It's amazing. I rarely find myself speechless, <laughs> but I tell you what, I am really struggling right now to find the words um, to say to you all. This is just incredible. I cannot, I want to be here when the clients walk in here. I don't know what to say, except thank you again from the bottom of my heart. And this shows you the power of that shelter house and that we have. Um, with, with community members like each each and every one of you. I know that again I can speak for those families and you know for the staff. You know how much this helps them? The people that work with them. I don't, you bet you never think about that. We do think of the end result. We do think of the workers and the people living here and the, those are the two things that motivate us. Pleasing the people and reaching our end result. We do have a vision. It's in our mind what it will look like.